Hey everybody. So, um, I just found something out about my camera and I'm going to show you what I just found out. So I'll be right back. This is my Buzz Lightyear and he is the authentic collector's edition. Um, the, um, exact replica from the movie. And, um, I have his certifications from Pixar, so that's pretty awesome. But he is extremely detailed, and, um, he's rather large in comparison to my book. He's, he's, uh, pretty big, so. Um, he's a think toy, and you can talk to him, and he says, like, tons of phrases. Um, I don't remember how many, but, uh... Um, he's super interactive, so I want to show you that real quick. And um, as I show you my new editing technique, <laughs> um, I hope that you enjoy it. So here we go. I'll uh, show you what Buzz is all about. Okay, so you just saw his head move right now. He's in think mode, so he may say something if um, I speak loud enough. So what's up, Buzz? What's up, Buzz? Okay, do you want to go on an adventure? No readout yet if the air is breathable. I better keep my helmet closed. Now let's open it. <laughs> the air isn't toxic. How dare you open a space fence helmet on an uncharted planet? My eyeballs could have been sucked from their sockets! Oh, chill the fuck out. <laughs> Switching to internal air supply. So, um, yeah, you could pretty much keep opening and closing that, and he keeps saying things, so. Hey, 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 careful! That's against regulations. Thank you. I would prefer the helmet down for a while. <laughs> okay, so, um, there's that. And then, um, just uh, as a side note, he's very, very fluid. Like, exactly like how he is in the movie. So, um, all his fingers move. <clears throat> Every single one of them. Hello? Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Are you ready for adventure in uncharted space? Sure. To infinity and beyond! Okay, this is, it's only hard because I'm doing it with one hand, but <laughs> you guys probably saw that in uh, my Destiny gameplay video, so he was in the background um, next to my TV, so yeah. Um, I uh, rather enjoy playing with him like that. <laughs> Hello? Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. What would you like to do? Local law enforcement. It's about time you got here. No. My ship has crash landed here by mistake. Okay, how'd that happen? How'd that happen? Have you seen my spaceship? <gasps> It'll take weeks to repair it. Oh, God, chill out. Say something. Say something. Say something. Perhaps some fresh air will help. Could you please help me open my helmet? Sure. Ah, it's good to breathe planetary air again. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. You're welcome. So, uh, what's next on the agenda? The evil Emperor Zerg is out there somewhere. Okay, where is he? This galaxy needs my protection. Who's in charge here? I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I sense something. Look out! <laughs> Adventure. Okay, so, um, let me just, uh, actually I have to keep him in think mode to do this, I think. So, um, he, uh, when you open up his little navigator. Oops. Yes, I need to rendezvous with Star Command. And then you could shut it, and it makes noise, and then, um, of course his, uh, laser. And, um, the best part. This is the best part, for reals. I think this is the best part about this toy. Um, here we go. I could fly around this room with my eyes closed. And you can pretty much hold him like this for as long as you want. And it just keeps going. And then when he's ready to land... See? I can fly! <laughs> this helmet is standard issue, friend. Perfect for missions in deep space. <laughs> and then uh, you can close his... Uh, wings. 
so um, yeah, he's really, 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 really awesome, and kind of loud, you, this might interrupt my speaking, so I won't say anything, but um, when you bend his legs, it's really loud. Hello? So, Are you still there? Shut up, shut up. But, yeah. What was that? Not to worry, a oh. space ranger fears nothing. <laughs> he got scared of his own damn joints moving. <laughs> okay, so, so yeah, they bend, he bends, and then um, his foot clicks up, clicks down, clicks up clicks down, I think twice, I don't remember, and, um, of course, his legs can move that way, and then, you know, he moves, so he's pretty, he's, he's a cool, he's a pretty cool, you know, big action figure that is, uh, pretty posable for the most part, and, um, uh, this part of him is, uh, rubber, so that's, that's cool how they made it totally authentic to the movie like that, and, um, it, uh, takes two clicks. Two clicks. Two clicks. One. Two. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. So, um, anyways. That's Buzz. And he's really cool. So, while I was out with my mom today, um, briefly, um, we went to go pick up her paps, uh, I was gonna say we went to go pick up her pap smear because she keeps calling it that, but um, it's her CPAP machine. <laughs> so um, we we had to go to um, Santa Rosa for that, and um, I thought we were just gonna go for a ride, but um, we ended up uh, going to Mountain Mike's, and um, I haven't really had an appetite for like the last three days. So, um, but I've been making myself, you know, eat here and there. So. Um, I really, I ate very, very little at Mountain Mike's. I only had two really small slices of pizza and, like, half a salad. Um, and then my, uh, attention got distracted when I realized that, um, they had, uh, quarter toy machines. And I saw zombie ones, of course. <laughs> and, um, they were a dollar each, which is kind of ridiculous for how small they are. But, um, yeah, it kind of pissed me off because on the, um, outside the picture was, like, really... A, like a lot bigger, like like a, a good size to be able to, you know, play with and hold in your hand. So, um, I mean, I guess they're still not that bad, but anyway, so this one right here is, uh, her name is Gross Out Granny is what they call her, but, um, her, uh, tits are hella sagging <laughs> and she's carrying a frying pan, so... Um, and then, uh, of course I had to get another one. I always get two, so that way um, it can have a partner, so, um, this one, I think, was called Days Out Dave or something, but I know the lighting isn't the greatest right now, but he's pretty much in, like, a sitting, crouching type position, so, I don't know, I don't, yeah, I don't know if he's sitting or if he really is trying to walk that way, you know, like, <laughs> like, towards her, if she really wasn't a zombie or something, he'd be all like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that wasn't very good role playing, but um yeah, I could do really good role playing with these guys. I just uh would prefer not to have the camera facing me. So <laughs> so I got those two while we were out and um I really don't like to uh go out when I'm sleep deprived like this, but I wanted to go for the ride, so um so yeah, I'm happy that I got to get out for a minute, and um, we stopped by like a health food store in Santa Rosa, and um, I grabbed some valerian root so that way um, I could manage this anxiety that I've been having during the day. I'd rather not take um, any pharmaceuticals like uh, more benzodiazepines, you know what I mean? So that's um, totally out of the question. So. Uh, valerian root, though, is awesome. Um, it's very good for uh, anxiety. It actually works exactly like a benzodiazepine, and it pulls on your GABA receptors, which are like feel-good receptors, you know. But uh, the cool thing about it is that it doesn't drain your brain's reserves of your GABA receptors like, like benzos really do. So, um, so there's no withdrawal effect, and it's really safe to take. 
and um, it is pretty effective um, for me at least. Um, it is pretty comparable to Ativan, though it doesn't um, hit your system that quickly to where you feel completely like, um, how do I explain, just, just like all of a sudden you're tripping out and all of a sudden you're like, <sighs> like that, that's what Ativan does. So um, it doesn't give you that kind of an effect, but um, maybe after like a good half an hour you're, you're feeling calm and it's uh, almost a feeling in your, your eyes, kind of like if you smoke pot or something. I don't know how to explain, but that's how it affects me. So um, I, I, I took um, two capsules earlier and it, it calmed me down, but I didn't take them at the same time, so... Um, so yeah, um, I'm uh, slowly coming off my medications and I would really like to uh, use herbal remedies um, instead. Alright, hang on one second while I uh, pause this and I'll be right back. Sorry about that, my uh, mom called me and was worried about Mouser, so, <clears throat> which she's fine, so. Um, I'd actually done <laughs> a better take on this video, and it was a lot funnier, but uh, Mouser was like constantly meowing in the background, and it was really irritating, so I decided to delete that video. So this is take two, and um, I'm uh, using my recent discovery with the video editor, but why is it? How, how can I make the lighting better out here? Fuck whatever. It's just going to be a dark video. Alright, so hang on. So for most of the day, I was pretty much reading um, during my free time. And of course I was reading the Amityville Horror, and I'm close to finishing it. That's uh, how far I've gotten. There's my bookmark. And um, a lot of shit has happened since I told you what was going on. But, um, I don't really feel like getting into it because I'm kind of exhausted of it right now because I, I've read so much of it today. So, um, yeah, so that's just going on hold for a second. God damn the lighting. Make the lighting better. Make the lighting better. <laughs> hold. Holy crap, somebody like messed this up. Really bad. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. This is the only light source I have right now. Come on. Oh my god, you piece of shit. Do it. Do it. It's like lighting. It's sparking, but it's not lighting. Okay. Okay, bad idea on that. Hold on. Thank <sighs> god for lighters. Okay. Okay, there's one. Should I keep it near me? Yeah, why not? No, I'm just gonna be doing something to the camera. <laughs> I don't know how to position these right now. There. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. So, um, while we picked up my mom's uh, CPAP machine over at her boyfriend's on the ride there, I mean, when we got there, not whatever, forget what I'm saying, my mercury is retrograde, so sometimes I say things that don't make sense, or it's backwards, or I'm dyslexic, whatever, but, anyways, <laughs> while uh, I was at his house, um, I noticed on his bookshelves that he had this, and it's the original Dune, and I think that when I was looking at it, I think that it has the first three books in it, so that's really cool. But that's the next one that I'm reading when I'm done with the Amityville Horror. And, uh, I've heard a lot about it, and, um, actually when I was probably, like, 19, I, I picked it up and read, like, the first chapter, and, and, and I was just like, damn, this is, this is confusing as fuck, because Frank Herbert, like, completely makes up a completely different language, and you have to, like, refer to his dictionary quite often and 
yeah, so, <laughs> but I think that now I could handle it because, um, I read more and, um, I don't know, I just think that it'll be easier for me with my, my, uh, more, uh, smarter mind, I guess you can say, because when I was 19, I, I was fairly smart, but I wasn't as smart as I am now, so, anyways, so that, there's, there's that, um, I'm gonna be reading Dune. And then, I wanted to end this video by, uh, first saying, hang on. If you're watching this, and you know who you are, I just wanted to say that when I think about you during the day, I grab the crystal that you gave me, and I wrap it in my, my fist like this. So it's pretty much completely covered, and uh, I keep it warm. It's usually pretty cold when I pick it up, and so I warm it up, and I focus my energy into it, thinking about you and our special times that we've had together, and um, <laughs> I know that I've told you this, but I will give it a kiss, or several kisses, because... I, I, I want that energy to be put into it so that way you can feel it too and um, it's pretty much like a, a, a love stone to me or a love crystal <laughs> but um, I don't know if I uh, told you or maybe I wrote about it on my blog but um, I, I had it on me because I pretty much carry it with me every day since you gave it to me and um, I went to the flea market over in Guerneville, and it's just like a small little thing they have outside of Safeway, and, um, there's this lady that has, like, a, um, a tent up, and she has, like, a shit ton of, um, really, really cool fossils and, and different crystals and stones and stuff, and, um, she's, like, super, super knowledgeable about, like, how they work and, and what you do with them and, and all that stuff, and, um, you know, I didn't validate anything that she told me, but she did say that um, when somebody gives you a crystal like the one that you gave me, um, and it's it's like with an intention, you know, like um, for a purpose, and in our case, to be close to one another, you know, to put our um, our uh, you know our, our being into it, basically, our our energy, our soul. And, um, she was telling me that, um, you know, if somebody gives it to you for a purpose, um, don't, don't cleanse it. And the reason why you don't want to cleanse it is because if you do, then, um, you'll basically get rid of that energy in the stone. So, um, she's like, don't, don't cleanse it, you know, but she did say though that, um, you know, it's really good to, to charge it under the moonlight, like you told me. So, um... I think there's a full moon coming, or we just had one or something, and I just fucking thought of that right now. Shit. <laughs> but anyway, she she said that, and um, and then she was saying that if you do cleanse it, to, like, cleanse it in salt water, like ocean water, you know? And I thought that was kind of interesting. But, um, but yeah, I really don't know a lot about crystals. I just know that... They have, well, some of them anyways, or maybe all of them, have a lot to do with healing and our energy and all that stuff. So I showed her um, the, the crystal, and she was like, wow, this is this is really nice. Like, I really, I really like how, um, you know, she was just totally looking at it. She's like, I love how it has that inside and stuff. And I was like, I know, it's cool. But yeah, she uh, basically said that, um, you know when you pick it up, you're, you're putting the intention energy into it that was given to you, and, um, she even said, too, that it's, it's, uh, strong enough to where, like, if you or the other person, like, if, if you or me were thinking about each other and the intention of this crystal, we would be putting that energy into it, it just, just by the mere thought of, you know, what we're thinking, so, um, you know, like I said, I didn't validate anything that she said, but it is pretty interesting to hear that and to know that. So, um, so yeah, 
I uh, don't go a day without touching it and looking at it and, like I said, warming it up in my fist. And um, <laughs> this is a little embarrassing, but I do give it kisses. And I know I told you that. But, um, but yeah, I hope that you uh, are resting right now or at least waking up from your nap and feeling okay because I know that you're sick, so... Um, so yeah, I'm going to I'm going to keep this close to me, very close to me, and give it a kiss right now because I'm gonna end my video. So um, with that said, I hope that when I do this and when you see this, you um, feel me. And um, yeah, I just really want you to feel me. So. <laughs> so anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed too, you guys, all y'all, my, uh, Peruvian beanie. It's my braids. They get in the way sometimes. No, just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, um, when I don't, or when I didn't shave, I used to go like this and it would keep me warm, like, well, it still does keep me warm, but, um, Obviously, having the beard really does keep my face warm, so I don't really need to do that anymore, but... Um, but yeah, that's the way I wear it sometimes. If it's, like, freezing as hell, I'll just, you know, go like that and let it chill. <laughs> but I love these beanies because they they really keep you warm. They cover, like, everything, so... Fuck yeah, I'm into that. Any kind of survival stuff that is worth it, like wearing wool is, you know, really good. Wearing fleece... Um, you know, materials that warm up very easily, and, and wool's good because you still stay warm in it even when it's wet. So, there's a little survival uh, 411 for you. <laughs> um, okay, so this is long, and really I was just wanting to um, experiment with the um, new um, thing I discovered on my camera, which is basically the pause button, and I can't believe I never, like, noticed that. Hello. <laughs> so, um... When I went like that with my eyes, I'm I'm looking at it right now. So it clearly has been in front of my face the whole time. But you live <clears throat> and you learn. So so, anyways, um, I'll let you guys go. Um, I should probably go chill out and go watch uh, some Netflix and um, uh, know that for sure my body is gonna be fighting hard tonight for core sleep and uh, yeah so sleep is in my future I know that <sighs> it can be frustrating but I know that I'm okay and I'm alive and doing things that I enjoy keep me calm so um, I did contemplate on making this video, but, uh, I realized that while I was doing the first take, it was making me laugh and smile, so I figured, sure, you know, I'll go ahead and make a video. But, uh, yeah, okay. Have a good night, and, uh, I will see you guys soon, and hopefully the next time I, I see you guys, um, I'll be much more rested, so. So, yeah, I'll be back. See you later.